Hello there everyone, this is Neko Knight here, getting ready to play The Infected. And, well, today we're going to be working on building my uh, lumber mill. I don't know if I'll be able to actually complete it in time within a video, but... Yep, that's that today's goal. And I'll go over roughly what I've got completed from the last episode. So I went ahead and finished up all the chairs. I finished up all the walls. I placed in my uh, where I think I'm going to put my windows. I have my little farm place. I got my stove, prep table, fridge, which I need to get powered. My sink, my butcher area. Right here is going to be where I dry my meat, but it doesn't work when there's no roof over it. This area is where I'm going to be storing my power, my control panel, my junction boxes. Basically, this is the electric room. Here's the bedroom. That's where my bed is with a window. Then we've got my closet for clothing. And we've got our my bathroom, which you've got placeholder for the toilet, the sink, and the placeholder for the bathtub and or shower. I do plan to get a roof on here, but that's going to be later. So now that I've caught you up on all that, on what it looks like. Oh, and uh, another thing that I discovered. Ooh, I need to hunt him, but not right now. Don't bother building these. He gets stuck like that. So, Building the watermelon crate and the pumpkin crate will allow him to pick the pumpkins and the watermelons. However, as you can tell, he gets stuck in an endless walking. I thought at first it might have been because it was too close to the walls. But as you can see, there's plenty of room to get around these. And he's still stuck. So, don't build those for now until those get fixed. I'm going to have to work on more power, so, and uh, we got plenty of oil, but thanks to the mini bosses, I don't really need this. I get so much plastic that this is really pointless, other than a couple machines. And over here we have my log place, which I'm going to need to farm a lot of clay, but... Uh, so far, this is my foundation setup. I kind of wish we had some triangles instead. Like if we had a forty five, a um, for a ninety degree tri uh, triangle base piece, and a thirty degree angle, and a hundred and twenty degree, and a forty five. If we had those triangle building pieces. We could build so many more cooler stuff, so I really hope we get that. Another thing that I would love is the ability to build diagonal on some of these foundations. Because I want this to be straight across like this. So that I have this nice little straight narrow walkway instead of this little zigzag thing going. Oh, and... Another thing is Mike doesn't harvest log piles out there if they're too far away. So if you ha if you burn if you stack a ton of logs like this, so you just run over, dump them, then run off, he will collect them and put them in here. So that's most of everything so far. Uh the corners here are going to be my law my not logs but plank stands where I'm going to place all my planks along the walls. And then over here in the entrance is where my uh, saws are going to be. And for now, I know most of you probably already left, but still. Oh, and I have a few other fun little tidbits to add in along the way that I've discovered as I was going. Whether or not they'll actually work is a different question. Or whether or not I can do it safely is another question, actually. Because 
part of it requires you to attack a Bambi, and then after that, you can have a force field against it. But it's not actually a force field. But it's kind of fun to watch because then it's like they can't reach you and they, they, they just keep trying to jump at you. That's the only time they can actually get you is if they jump. Once I empty out most of my logs, I'll show what I mean if I do come across a Vambi. Some other things that would be nice is if uh, some suggestions would be having picking up logs as its own uh, thing. What I mean by that is let's say I go and chop down a bunch of trees like this and just cram them into a giant pile. I should have the ability to set it where he picks up logs. And that will allow him to pick up like 20 or 30 logs run back and be like ta-da and fill all of this up at once instead of uh running picking up running picking up it's kind of a waste of time because he spends four miles running all the way out there and running back when he can pick up like 40 logs at once and i and me i can be out there running around chopping all the trees like a madman be like done done and then he can just pick up go pick up and go I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna design this I do know I'm gonna be adding a roof to this uh, it must be cloudy but I am gonna be adding a roof to this and it's gonna require a lot of clay Especially if it does it the way I'm, I'm hoping it does. But for now, we're getting at least the walls set up to make this look nice. I do, like I said, I do wish there were different building things. Like some different triangles, some different curves, and uh, different building spots. Like being able to build diagonally across foundations which I might have to go and suggest to the dev it's something that would be nice to have but realistically oh I've completed the circle it's time to plank it up but realistically I doubt uh I'll have a big enough influence to actually change anything and oops I should have gone and dumped all that off so that I could have room instead of running back and forth you know what here I'll do this placeables uh, I assume that bird just spawned because I don't remember seeing that there and that caught my eye all right, storage, storage container, boom. Now I can store all of this. Perfect. A bit of a waste of planks, but still. I'm also gonna be adding probably a glass, a glass uh, part along the this wall, and have it go up to the roof but I don't know yet I'll have to build this and see what it looks like part of this the reason why I'm actually building a structure instead of leaving it open open like the way I have oh okay I thought you could get upset if it attacked my building I don't think I had anything. Okay. Thankfully, these are cheap as hell. So, there's a high likelihood I won't have the roof built because I don't have all the materials, but I'll definitely have the base and everything. Uh, 
Uh, what other suggestions would be nice that the game could have? Uh, okay. Oh, yes. Different railings. The railings, too. Like triangle railings and other stuff. Like, or for situations like this, where we have a railing that we can place right there. That would be nice. So I don't have this gap right here. Or a gap right here. Because that, that kind of annoys me. I kind of wish I could place something there. Oh, there's a mini boss out there. He's running. He's he's sneaking. He, he's trying to be sneaky. How sneaky he is. Well, apparently not that sneaky. I will say... Oh, actually, you know what? I can try doing that stupid trick, although it would be dangerous with them. Uh, I'm assuming I've got, got too many planks left over. Yes. Well, technically, no, because i got to do the roof. Okay, how will this look when if we set a piece of glass down? We need... What is it? Walls. Uh, half... Uh, dang it. I wish these half walls were, I wish we had a half wall as high as, uh, the railings, because this would look perfect if this was dropped by one, two, two plank levels to where it's just right there. Then I could have this glass window sitting on top of it, and then I could be looking out at it like that. Oh, and something that you guys may not know is if you use the mouse wheel like this, you can switch between everything. So you can remove the equipment you have, then mouse wheel, mouse wheel, and then mouse wheel to whatever you need. So you can quickly, instead of just worrying about attacking things, you can be like, bam, safety. Okay. Well, uh, he came to me. Hello there. Oh, wow. I think the devil hit me. And you're dead. Oh, another mini boss, and I need to heal. I would appreciate it if you guys have some bandages. Nope. Okay, well, let's go deal with these guys, and let's go heal before I die. I did not change their attack power. I wonder why they're hitting so weak. Oh, no, wait. that They didn't even hit me. That was my life slowly draining away because I don't have a bandage. Which I should really go hurry up and grab. Uh, where the, oh, yeah. Run through here. Run over here. Dodge all that. Grab this. And then grab one of these. And exit, exit. Come on. Gotta be careful when you don't have bandages on you. Okay. Uh, what do we got? At this point, there's realistically no reason to go to town. Other than, well, blueprints and wires. Because, as you can see, electrical, mechanical, Kevlar, medkits... Plastic. He gives. They give so much. It's insane. Oh, that's me. that. Uh, place that. Place that. Uh, can't place that there. Uh, da -da -da -da. we got iron there. We got coal there. Uh, there. Oh, I'm run. Oh, one other thing I need to do is uh. Okay, one other thing I need to do is actually start working on getting placeables, uh, other, I need to get one of these, a stone grinder, as that will give you, uh, two iron fragments for one stone, 
This will significantly increase stone uh, iron production, which means the next building I'm working on after this is going to be uh, a forge and or a uh, metal workshop, which I'm thinking of building right up in here. Actually, let's check on my clay extraction machine because that might have enough clay. I thought I heard, uh, wolf, uh, nope, I'm gonna need like two of these chests full. Because I've got a lot of roofing to build. Like, a lot. So, I'm gonna at least get the railing on all this set up plan out the next section of my construction and then from there uh, I'll probably finish the roof off camera and then if you guys want to watch the process from beginning to end just leave a comment saying hey I would like to uh, cutie show like how you do it from beginning to end and all that fun stuff for now let's just continue doing this Let's, oh, and another thing is, uh, Mike has no respect for pathways at all. Because when he goes to my farm, I watch him, ch like, literally come out, walk over the fence, down the, f off to the side, and just walk on through. He doesn't take that path right there and then go out. He just cuts over. Which is kind of rude. But, I mean, I kind of do it myself, too. <laughs> If I'm in a rush. So let's get all this uh, set up. And we'll, you'll see the railings. Actually, you know what? The farther I go, the better this is. Because I can grab, load, grab, load, repeat. And be like, yay. Okay. Alright. Get these in. Oh, oh, what the hell? I, uh, I'm i not sure if I can put something there to fill that in. I'm not. But, if, like I said, I, I wish there were some other types of railings. And that these things had different connection points too. And triangle foundations. Having triangle foundations would be amazing. Same with different curves. Because this isn't really... This is like... A square curve. I want like a curve curve. That would be a nice uh, addition. Alright. Let's grab these. Oh and another thing is that. He also has no respect for. Objects like this. Because I can watch him walk through this. And go over here. And place the logs down. Well, I have while I get stuck by them, it's like bing bing, and I, and it it, it kind of sucks. Although I don't mind that. That's just it's kind of a jealousy thing more than anything. I like that he's able to do that, and I like that it allows him to move faster and build things, or not build but collect things. Okay. Oh, another thing is stair railings. It'd be nice to have stair, stair railings so we can put railings along the stairs. That would be nice too. You know, these poles you think would be a... Come on. Let's go gotta hurry up and get all of this done and then from there we're gonna end up start needing a lot of uh well glass and steel by the looks of it uh, i actually probably should have built the outside first before building the inside because now i've got to run around and stupid frog this is my place Oh, I'm getting thirsty. Uh, sweet, I got something to drink. Something to eat. 
And might as well eat that. Perfect. All right, let's continue the build. I might end up just finishing the rest off. Yeah, actually, I'm going to finish this up, this build, or everything, the foundation, and I'll set the glass up, and then I'll probably build the rest off I'll build the rest off camera. This is just to give you an idea of what it looks like, what I have planned, all that fun stuff. And to tell you about different potential building pieces that would be nice to have. Because realistically, this game is focused on building under threat. In other words, you're here to build buildings and deal with anything that interferes with that process like the mini vambies or mini vambi bosses which if they're called mini bosses where is the boss because i'm pretty sure there's that would that there would be a boss and i'm wondering when that guy is going to come because that's going to be one hell of a fight. Unless you can um, stun lock him with uh, the spear. Actually, can I? Ah. Uh, actually. Ah, yes. Okay. I may have to set uh, one of those closer to the edge here. Just so that I can uh, grab it or jump over and quickly build all right let's get this all done and as i said i do sprinkle in helpful tips tricks hints and other fun things along my builds or while i'm playing oops there we go jump over these uh, yeah this is actually turning out pretty well I'm getting pretty well close to being done although this is a lot of these builds are long builds and really big builds but I love to build which is kind of why I play a lot of survival games because a lot of them are build focused uh, rather than uh, well, actually, most of them are. I also play story games, but right now, those games are pretty much one and done. Which means I can't act... Which means I can't actually uh, replay them. Or I could, but I would have to figure out how to do it in a way that people would keep watching. This, I can actually change up how I do things, change up how I build things, and even tell people about tips, tricks, helpful hints, and other fun little tidbits. And maybe even inspire them. Plus, the games change as you go, which means, like, what I'm telling you right now may be useless, uh, like, as a... Oops. All right, actually I have a, oh no, they spot me, dang it. One thing that's nice about the spot is that it has a uh, area effect, which means while you're striking and if you swing your spear while striking like this, you can hit all of the creatures, all of them and area affect them. As you can see, I don't I don't know what my health was, but I'm pretty sure they maybe hit me once out of all of those guys. And no, I did not change any of their attack power or any of their health. Their standard everything. Standard. That's the only thing. Oops. They're all standard. Which means the fact that I took them all down like that means 
they're that easy to deal with. Some people have trouble with them, uh, but realistically, the only time they're trouble worthy is when you have two mini bosses at the same time with four Vambies each. That is the only time they become a pain. When they're just one Vambi with four, or one mini with four, it's re relatively easy if you blitz them. You just run in, strike and swing your spear at all of them, and you will uh, area of attack them all. Now, you can and you will get hit because of timing. If you can time it perfectly every time, then that's amazing. If not, well then, expect to take a little bit of damage. But they usually don't cause too much trouble. Alright, we're getting pretty well close to the end of this. So let's get this all done. We'll place up the... We'll place up the windows and then actually you know what there's a lone guy let's go show you the the, the bug let's pull out the spear and then oh i didn't even have to strike him but force field see <laughs> But, yeah, whoa, I didn't know he could chuck. But, yeah, it's, it's a bug. You can, if you just wiggle it, he's, he's throwing stones. Okay, so it's not perfect, but the stones deal one damage, so, if you, okay. Oh, wow, he got it. Up. I didn't I didn't know he I didn't know they could do that though. I didn't know they could repeatedly chuck That's new. Also, when they die when on this you can uh make them fly. Wee Look at that. Wee once you place it down, though, they, they drop to the ground. But this is a nice little bug. Oh. Oh, wait. What? How the... Huh. Okay, then. Nice. Well, that's that little bug thing that I wanted to show. And where the hell did I place... Stole this from... I think I stole it from the edge of here. I don't remember. Oh well, doesn't really matter. Oops, that's not. There we go. Oh, I I, I could have tabbed and. But yep, yeah, that's a nice little bug, and I learned something new. Bambies can chuck rocks repeatedly. So if they like can't get you at all like if you get on like let's say a stone face or stand in the middle of the water it looks like they could potentially just chuck rocks constantly at you which deal one damage which still hurts all right well that's the base of this this is all set up this is what it looks like i'm gonna be getting everything else ready to go so, if you guys enjoyed, please like. If you didn't, well, hopefully you uh, pass on to other people that you think might. As for now, if you want to keep watching more, you can always check out my playlist at the end. And or check out my home, my channel for other stuff. For now, I'm going to be getting things set up. I don't know how well it's going to work with this area. Okay, so we're going to need buildings, we're going to need ceilings, we're, oh no, we're going to need roofs, and we're going to need curves, we can, uh, anyways, bye-bye.